Doing coverage of the International Pool Tour, a pivotal semifinal match on tap next. Marvelous Marlon Manalo of the Philippines against Germany's Ralph the Surgeon Suke. Manalo has won three straight matches here in the semifinal round, and if he wins here against Suke, Manalo is assured of his place in the championship final. Suke is just looking for a win to stay alive. Well, Suke has got a huge amount of experience. He's won over 25 titles, but you know all the pressure's on Marlon right here because Marlon, if he wins this, he's guaranteed to be in the finals. You know, two million bucks are at stake here, so really the pressure's on Marlon. But he's playing against one of the best players in the world. No, it's going to be tough. Okay, let's go to the table. The smooth operating Suke has taken a 6-4 to four lead in the match. It's a race to eight, and Manalo, who's been nearly invincible in the tournament, is in a little trouble here. Yeah, he's in a little bit of trouble, but as well as he plays, as good as he breaks, I could never count this guy out. Again, Manalo, having tightened up his deficit at four games to six, has the break. Well, you know, he's capable of running four in a row. Boy, he hits him hard. It and, makes nine and of And solid, side. and solid. Yeah. You see his shaft bend. I mean, similar to what I do. Watch when he breaks. You see how far he extends on the shaft? He hits him very, I mean, consistently probably has the best break out there today. I would have to have to agree on that. Yeah, he was in the t last six of uh, the King of the Hill. Last six here at the North American Open. Yeah, he's he's no slouch. He's the real deal. Yeah. He's the real deal. He's He surprised me. He's a very nice gentleman. I've talked to him a few times. He speaks English, you know, a little. But, you know, in the tournaments, you see a lot of the guys, and you know, we talk and everything. And uh, he's a very nice guy, very nice. Well, the pressure's on him because if he wins this and comes back, and if he can win this, he's definitely in the finals. Yes, and that's uh, that's very big. I mean, you know, they are the Philippine players are playing for so much money. The Americans are, but... You know, the a dollar in the Philippines goes a long, long way. We're over here. It's, you know, not that much anymore. I know a lot of players are going to go back to their pool halls and uh, beer venues after having been spoiled on these diamond tables for 10 hours at a time. Well, you know what's happening, Matt, is they're all saying they're they're all getting the diamond tables with the garina cloth, with the IPT balls and chalk and the Sato Rec because that way they can play on the same conditions as the tour. And we do have... Tour condition, equipment available, as well as recreational condition, which means it's easier. All the equipment is available at internationalpooltour.com. He makes a nice shot there. You notice how he did the two-rail deal that we've talked about before? Uh, he's in good shape here. He's going to play the 11. It looks like he's going to go for the ball on the bottom rail that's near the cushion. So he's going to kind of float the cue ball down, and he's perfect. You know, these guys are all capable of running 10 racks. So, I mean, that, that's, I mean, no one has done it yet, but I think someone somewhere down the road is going to run eight racks. Actually, I did do it in practice, but that's not the same thing. But, you know, eight racks and out is going to happen. That's just something, you know, that. But you see a lot of scenarios where a guy is leading six to three and doesn't shoot again. I hear those stories every day in the tournament. He made a great run out here. He plays this, comes off the rail, eight in the side. I mean, look how sweet this is. This is to win and bring it yeah. to you. You notice how he runs the ball and never touches a ball. I like the way he does that. We've talked about that before. With precision and quickness, Marlon Manalo trails by just a game. Well, he's got to feel good here, don't you think? He's got the break. He just won the last two games. I there's, actually think he's the favorite from there, here. There's the Sardo tight rack they're using, and you notice every single ball is touching. It's the best rack in the world and needed if you're going to play eight ball. Yeah, I like him from here. Six to five trailing his break. I, I think he's the favorite. It's from all here. about keeping the break for him, yeah. too. Well, he's making balls. When you get on a table and you start making balls in the break, they just continuously go. He's found the right spot to break from. He almost scratches, but I know a ball went in. I yep. can hear it. I think the solids, actually, you watch his break. He almost gets kicked in the corner again. The ball goes right in the side pocket. The only real problem I see here He's is, got to pick solids, doesn't he? Yeah, solids because the stripe ball is being blocked by the solid that's hanging in the pocket. And all the other balls, you see down here at the lower right-hand side of your screen? Yeah, he's definitely going to—I think he's playing solids. He's playing the two ball. Can he hit that? Oh, that's pretty sweet. He had the window there. Well, the balls are laying very well this time, very well. They're what we call in space— you see he's got the six. All the balls are pretty much close to each other. Well, Ralph Suke is also from Germany, like Thorsten Holman. So you have a couple of Germans here in the finals. You have uh, three Filipinos and a Russian. 
And no Americans. And no Americans. No, they, they, you know, they're they gone. I mean, forget the Americans. Well, no Chinese, no Japanese, no Taiwanese either. Yeah. So, And no uh, nobody from Britain. Now, see, he made a smart shot there. He's p- positioned the cue ball where he can play actually all three of those balls. He can play the seven, the three, or the one. And he's elected to play the seven. I can call every shot he's going to do from this point on. You want me to do it? Sure. Okay, he's going to play the seven. Okay, three, one, five, two, eight. Ready? Okay, let's see. Now, Matt, let, we're let's, keeping score. That's we're what we're going to do. Three, one, five, two, eight. Three. Now, it's interesting because he runs the balls as close to the way you would run the ball. Yes. He never touches a ball unless he intends to. That's a difference in his break. I mean, he gets, in other words, when you break and make balls in a break, you have such a good break, you're continuously shooting. There's no lulls like Strickland. Strickland would love this because if he keeps making balls in a break, his rhythm changes. In nine ball, you can do that, but in eight ball, he does it. But he does run the balls exceptionally well. I don't ever see shots that I go. There you go. So he ran yeah. that exactly how you would so run it. So far, so good exactly on your diagram. Right. But yes. other players would have run it potentially differently. differently. And a lot of times we've seen where one mistake early makes a big mistake. Well, he's over at the, the ball end. here. This well, isn't... that's that's not a you know dramatic thing. Marlon Manalo seems destined not to let Ralph Sukave get back to his feet. He has tied the match at six all. It's the semifinals here at the International Pool Tour. Only six players remain. They're all gunning for over two million in cash. They come from exotic sounding places. Mandaluyong City, Pampanga, and Tarlac. They come from the Philippines, a poor country rich in pool legends. The names Reyes, Parica, Bustamante, Pagyalayan, Luat, or Colo. These names resonate around the pool world because simply they are shot makers and strategists like none other. They're gamblers and artists, and they cast a long shadow over every tournament they play in because if one of them doesn't beat you, the other one will. They're countrymen, but they're also competitors, and there's a very good chance that one of these guys will be making it to the final round here at the International Pool Tour. And then, of course, there's Marlon Manalo, perhaps the most lethal weapon in pool today, and he stormed back to tie Ralph Souquet 6-6 here in the race to eight. Well, Ralph Souquet is just hoping to get back to his feet as Marlon Manalo is on the break, having tied this match at six games apiece. Oh, he just, yeah, he just, you know, broken ran the last three. So he's on a roll right here. Oh, Ooh. almost a scratch. How did that cue ball stick in the corner? Now, I don't he, believe he made one, though. Yeah, he, did you he? better smile there. Did he yeah. make a ball? No, he didn't make a ball. Now, look, he gets kicked 100 miles an hour, Boom. and it just jars. Well, that only figures. He didn't make a ball, and Ralph Souquet is, like, in jail here. I mean, he's in the jaws of the pocket, and he's going to break those balls out, I believe. He makes a nice shot, but there's still a big cluster over there. You see where the orange ball is and the stripes? He tries to tickle that group of balls and break them out, but there's still congestion there, so this is by no means over. Ralph Souquet comes in here as one of the most decorated players ever to come out of Europe and in Germany specifically. He at one point was awarded the Silver Laurel Leaf. That's the highest distinction for a sportsman in that country. It's presented by the German president. He's a great player. I've known Ralph for many years. I used to go to Sweden 20 years ago when I watched him growing up. And I knew then, I would tell Nick Varner, I said, wait until this guy gets a little seasoning. And here he is today. What he's looking to do is very tricky. He's just going to bump the 10. I think that was the right shot. I think that was the right shot to hit it hard and hope because, see, he hits it perfect, and it turns out it bumps the 9 anyway, and he still has a couple shots. He's got choices. I think he's going to go for this ball, then the blue ball, then the 6, then the 8 is what I think he's going to do. So, obviously, he's playing the 6 next. See, I wasn't crazy about that. He's not going to shoot the blue ball now. Well, he went either a little too far. I think he was playing for the six. I don't, I wasn't crazy about that. I think I would have tried to play the two balls, then the six, and then drawn back a little, play the eight in the corner. See, now he's got to kind of go up here, then come back down. Yeah, he, and there we go. And there we go. See, he, 
He that shot. If he, I mean, he had to use a lot of. He yeah, was trying to move that cue ball off the rail. He should have played these two and then that one. See, you never want to play a ball at one end of the table. Go back up for the other one, then come back down for the other ball. If he had played for the, that could be fatigue or nerves or a combination of both. I think it's more nerves than anything else. Well, he's. I talked to him earlier, and like I said, he's he's never felt like this. He goes, he goes. I'm like snow blind. He told me. He goes. I, I just don't know what I'm doing. And this is still not automatic here because he's got his work cut out for him. You see the problem? He's got the two stripe balls right there where the six is, the green ball. It's not automatic. I think I would try and play for that immediately. I would play this uh, 13, I think, the orange stripe ball. And then go immediately up. See this ball on the bottom here, the stripe ball. Play that and go immediately up for the nine, the yellow stripe ball. I think that's the play because he has problems over there. And that's exactly what he's chosen to do. He very rarely takes a chance, okay, and he picks the balls off. You can tell what he's doing. I mean, you know, like people say, when they watch me run out, they know what I'm doing. And a lot of guys, when you watch them, you don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Efren. Yeah, well, no, yeah. Ephraim is a great player. I mean, but some of the can, younger. Yeah, but he c comes with these incredible shots. Right, up. right. Well, the, you know, there are moments even when the most conservative of player, I know you can speak to this better than me, Mike, right. you have to gamble it at one yes, point in the match. Yes, you have to. Sometimes you have to gamble. There's no way around that. But see, you see how easy he makes everything look? He clears the nine, plays the other ball, comes down. Now, he could have played either stripe ball. You see what I mean? No risk, no chance. And when a guy does that, it just looks so easy. Everybody says, well, I could do that until you try and do it, just like in golf. I mean, you know, I, I won a bunch of tournaments, but, you know, this guy has really impressed me. I, I've never seen him only up until the last six months or so, and he's very impressive. He's a good pressure player, just and he's an got a great ball. break. And just an eight ball away now from taking a lead in this race to eight. The leader of the Filipino invasion, Marlon Manalo, edges in front of Ralph Suke, 7-6. to six. He's one game away from claiming one of two spots in the championship match. This is the International Pool Tour, where pool, make no mistake about it, is a sport. Get naturalcures.com coverage of the International Pool Tour, Las Vegas, Nevada. A giant jackpot waits the winner of this tournament. Marlon Manalo here in the semifinals leads Ralph Suke 7 to 6. It's a race to 8 and Manalo has the all important break. Well Marlon's won 5 games in a row here to take the lead. He wins this game, he goes into the finals. There is a bigger pot of gold at the end of this rainbow than ever before in the history of this sport. Look at that break. It's just devastating. Watch how he breaks these balls. Just solid as a rock. Cue ball pretty much in the center of the table. It's going back a little, but but boy, he breaks hard. Now I see a clump of balls over by the side pocket. He's playing very quickly, so he's taking solids. Oh, the combination goes in the side is my guess. He's got a trouble spot up there for sure. Well, those balls go in the side pocket, I'm pretty sure, on a combination. He's playing very quickly. If that's the case. Yeah, that's where he left himself. See, that's the kind of thing that the, the amateur player, the you know, the barroom hack, you look at a combination like that, and you don't see it going into a pocket. Right, you see right. that as something that's trouble. He got a little careless here. He's got the wrong angle. See the ball that's on the rail? You look at it. Uh, he may not even play this yet. You see the two balls right there where, by the side pocket? He's got two solids. He's probably going to go three rails with the cue ball. Out in this, towards the center of the table again. Yes, one, two, three. And perfect. He's going to play that ball and draw the cue ball into the stripe ball and then have a shot on the ball on the rail. Now watch this. He'll hit this low. You see what he did there? Before, he didn't shoot that. That's why he shot the combination, because he got in between both balls. He'll go in between the 9 and 10. Watch. Follow down. Watch this. How do he hit it? Perfect. <laughs> See what I mean? I mean, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean Boy, I, Matt, this it's is like, kind of fun to listen I mean, no. to the road map. This, yeah. this guy has to have my videos because I'm watching him run out. And, you know, to me, it's like I go, yeah, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. You know, it looks pretty. Now he's coming out in the middle of the table. Look. Perfect. And I love the way you, you were able to bring it back to you. Yeah, right. of course. <laughs> I've got to throw plugs in. I mean, when if I get eliminated out of the tournament, I have to, you know, let the people know I can still play a little. Boy, and meanwhile, Ralph Suke knows that his chances for, for getting to his feet are drawing dim. 
Well, he's still got a little bit of an angle going away from the eight ball. And if he just three rails or one rail? Well, I don't know if he's going to do no three rails on this shot. Either he's going to hit this with reverse English or settle for a tough shot on the eight. No, he's going three rails. You're uh-huh, right. Uh huh. Thank you yeah, very much. You I watched one, your two, videos. Three. three. But, <laughs> and look where it, what? Wait a minute. That's why I did not like that. You see, in some cases, that's a good shot, but I would not have done that in that particular shot. Now, you didn't watch my video that closely. Well, what's the GPS tell him to do now? Well, Ralph, Ralph has got to be pretty happy now because yeah, Ralph sure. gets back. He can run well, the next two racks. It's 7-7 seven, seven if Ralph gets a shot here. He's a big underdog, but I don't know. With this guy, look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding no me? Way. Are you, you it? kidding me? No. Ooh. Ooh. He's got to be sick. Huh? Sick. Look where he left the cue ball. Well, I mean, look, if he wins that game, look what he did there. Just a mental error on the positioning. He Love. almost scratches. If he scratches, he loses the game. Well, look, this gives Ralph Suke huge life. I mean, if he runs out, it's 7 7 his break. Yeah, Manalo got a little. Well, I don't think I would have played that shot that way. I would have settled for a little tougher shot on the eight and had a shot. The three rail shot there was, you could see, it was just too tricky. The cue ball has to land exactly perfect. Well, this, this, this is a. He's, he's got a problem here, doesn't he? I don't know what Ralph's doing. I can't believe he's not. Uh, Ralph, what's the safety? Are you doing? Wow. Why would he do this? I would never do this. I can't believe he didn't try and run the table there. I really can't. I really, you know, he can make this shot. How? He, What's he going to do? Well, he can go three rails. One. He's playing it. He's playing it in the side. Yes, but he can make this. Look, he hits the cue ball to the side rail, to the end rail, and to the eight. And believe it or not, he is a got a good chance of making this. This shot can go in. I'm telling you right now, this shot can go. It's going to be very close. I can promise you that. One, two, for the game, match. three. Ooh. Oh, I mean, oh. if he would have just touched the eight, he would have made it. There's a foul. Ball in hand. I would have never done that. Now, that's one foul. If you foul three times in a row, you automatically lose the watch, game. Watch how close this is. Now, people say it's lucky if it goes in. Look how close this is. A half an inch, not even. Look. <laughs> Look where he's trying to put the ball here. I mean, it was. Surpri- I'd be afraid of scratching on that shot. Well, he's going the other way with the cue ball. Okay. It would surprise me if he does not win this game from this position. I mean, really, he can. Now think about it. He can make any shot he wants. He can play the nine. He can play the ten. He can play the whatever. He doesn't have to run them in order. And all he's got to do is, and all the balls are pretty much right there. The only ball he could possibly miss if he gets long on it is probably the ten ball near the eight. That's about the only ball. I mean, he makes this. The ten's right there. Oh! Wow! Oh, no, oh, Ralph. Good what night. are you doing? Good night, Ralph. Stick a fork oh, in. Oh, no, man. But Marlon doesn't have a shot yeah, here. but that's... Ralph is just... He's just helpless. Get to a happy place. Get to a happy yeah, place. No. Get to a happy place. The wheels have fallen off. I, mean, I, I can't a, believe he missed that. He's Look. had a rough day yeah. well, in the final six, and he hasn't won a match yeah. yet. Manello can either cut the eight in the corner or bank it. This well, is you know, not I, over. I, I agree with Kevin. This is not over. I think I was a little too hasty yeah. to, to say goodnight because he really doesn't have an angle there. Does he, he can't he, play it down no, the no. corner. He scratches yes, in no, the side, he won't scratch he? in the side. No, he can make this. And besides, anything right now is better than Ralph Suquet running the table. It's not an easy shot. But it's very makeable. Is he cutting it down the corner? Yeah, he, it's, he's not going to scratch. Very makeable. Very Look makeable. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. How do you like this? With an extremely difficult finish, Marlon Manalo is headed to the championship table. Here it is again. Well, I didn't think there was any angle there. I didn't think there was any way he could make that without a scratch. A fantastic finish to a great match.